Hey guys, so you saw um, or have seen like a million times over at this point that I've come out with four new sets of stamps. It's no surprise to you at this point if you're seeing this video. <laughs> All right, so at this point though, I have six sets of stamps. I'd kind of like to keep them organized by themselves. I have all of my other stamps that I own from everybody across the board separated into binders by category and or manufacturer. I don't want my stamps to be any different. Although they're going to be in a less pretty binder than the other ones. My binder, my stamps are in, are going to be kind of plain. But it has nice thick big rings. Look at that. This is an Avery binder. It's an Avery mini binder. And it's huge. I had to get it from Amazon. And I don't know. I just had the label a minute ago. But I don't know what I did with it. But I got it on Amazon. If I can find the link to it, I'll put the, it in the description below. But I had to special order it. Because nobody around me had one with this big of rings. And I ordered it for something else, and I was going to return it, and I realized, hey, wait, it'll work for this. Okay. So I've got this mini binder, and I've got some of these mini sheet protectors, which are made to fit in this binder. Um, so what I'm going to do, what I've done is I've taken my sets of stamps, which are um, mounted on cling, and they have this hard card with the image in it that's like laminated but only on the back side and I've slipped it into one of these page protectors that is made to fit these binders or planners it's got a million holes in it so it'll fit both so I just can slide these in like this and the nice thing about having it in one of these sheet protectors is you don't have to worry about if the stamps like lose their sticky and slide off because where are they going to go? <laughs> They're inside a page protector. They can only get so far. It's a little fiddly getting them in and out, but it's really worth it for storage. Um, I love my stamps, and I definitely don't want to lose them. But at the same time, I don't use them all the time. So this way it keeps them nice. And I have plenty of room in this binder to get the other two sets in and a couple of future sets. Because, of course, I'm already thinking about more. Now these sheet protector things are not all created equally and some of them are just like a hair smaller than others and I don't know what the deal is with that. These are Avery, same people who make the binder. I'm going to put two more in here. Um, okay. Because I ordered my two original sets like this in cling. I originally got my samples on wood mount and I, I much prefer this so I'm going to get the two um, old sets um, done this way. All right, then you saw in a previous video where I was announcing that the stamps are in and playing with them, and I made these little small tags. I just stamped some images on it, and look what I discovered. <laughs> so I can easily mark which binder has my stamps in it by putting one of these in it, and I have to just, now I have to pick one. <laughs> I don't know which one to pick. Holy moly. I don't know. Maybe the arrow. I really like the arrow. I think the arrow works. So that's really quick and easy and you don't have to um, you know really go out of your way to spend a ton of money. The binder wasn't too expensive. The sheet protectors are not too expensive. You can get any kind of a binder to do this with. You can get like a scrapbooking binder on clearance. Um, some of them have really teeny rings though so I would get the one you can with the biggest rings you can find. That's like the trick. Otherwise, I love this. This is a great great way to store your stamps and stuff, and I think it's well worth it. I should have ordered a couple more binders. I might have to do that. <laughs> All right. That's it. Just a quick tip. Have a great day. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like maybe fix up your stamp storage. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.